Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to change the default kernel in Linux in Grub. Now, why did I choose Grub? Because Grub is the bootloader that I am comfortable with and I think Grub is the most popular bootloader in Linux. Now, why would anyone want to change the default kernel or why would anyone have multiple kernels installed in their system? It may be for a variety of reasons. Now, I have two kernels installed in my system. I have the mainline Linux kernel and I also have the Linux LTS kernel. I am using Arch Linux and in Arch Linux, the mainline Linux kernel tends to break a lot, at least in my experience, especially uh, it uh, breaks with relation to my driver for NVIDIA graphics card. I do not have a very new NVIDIA graphics card. It's a pretty old graphics card and NVIDIA has stopped supporting that graphics card. And I think that may be the reason or that may not be the reason, but still I get problems with the with my kernel mainline uh, Linux kernel and my NVIDIA driver. So I also have the Linux LTS kernel installed in my system. So a couple of weeks ago, the Linux kernel did break for me when I got an update. So that happened. So I have the LTS kernel as a backup so that I can log in to the LTS kernel and I can continue my work. Now others may have multiple kernels for various other reasons. There are There is the mainline Linux kernel, then we have the LTS version, then we have a Linux Zen and we also have a Linux hardened and also we have other kernels like a Zen mod. So Linux Zen is for performance, Linux hardened is for security. So maybe while logging into a particular session, a person may want to use a different kernel for whatever reason. So it is, uh, it is common practice for people to have multiple Linux kernels installed and it will be nice if you can just set a kernel as the default kernel. Now the way that I set the default kernel is that I'll choose a kernel in Grub and the next time Grub will remember my selection and that will be set as the default kernel and that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's go to a virtual machine. I cannot show, show this in a real machine. So this is a virtual machine of Arch Linux. Let's run it. Let's open it. And here we have the Grub menu. So by default, Grub has this menu. There is Arch Linux and then you have advanced options for Arch Linux. So if I go into this Arch Linux, when it says Arch Linux in the previous menu without the sub menu, it will launch with the first option that is Arch Linux with Linux LTS. Now, how does it choose Linux LTS? It was the last installed kernel. That is, I installed the Linux kernel first, then I installed the Linux LTS kernel. So that will be my default kernel. Now, what if I choose Arch Linux with Linux Linux? This is the mainline Linux kernel. What it will do is it will log in this session with Linux Linux and in the next session, it will again go back to Linux LTS. So how do I choose this particular kernel. Let's see that. Let's log in with the Linux LTS kernel for this session. So let me give in my password. I think I remember the password. Yes, I did. And it's opening the awesome window manager, which I have set in this virtual machine. Now, where does Grub keep its config file? So let's open a terminal or you can do it in a graphical file manager. You can do it in a text editor. Let's open a graphical file manager. And let's go up in the file uh, system and let's go to slash etsy slash default where is default it's here and here we have a file called as grub this is the file which we are going to do some editing so let's open a terminal and let's uh, I think it's already a little bit zoomed in let's zoom in anyway okay so I am going to use vim so since the file is present in the root folder, I'll be using sudo privileges. So sudo vim slash etsy slash default slash grub. So it's it last for my sudo password. So enter and this is my sudo sorry grub configuration file. You can see up here grub bootloader configuration. So I'm going to change three lines in this. So first let's come down here and here we have uncommon to make grub remember the last selection. So I will uncomment this particular line that is grub underscore saved default is equal to true and I'm going to uncomment this line and then I'm going to change the true into saved. Sorry, I'm just going to keep the true as true. 
we are going to change saved somewhere else i am sorry about that we are going to keep this as it is we are just going to remove the hashtag we are going to uncomment this and then it is telling this requires setting grub default is equal to saved now where is this particular thing where can we change that it is in the top of the configuration file so grub underscore default is zero that will take the first entry we are going to change that we are going to change it to saved now one more thing we have to change is let's come down here we have to disable the sub menu if you do not disable the sub menu then it's only going to have that arch linux and then advanced options for arch linux it's going to always run the uh, first option that was present inside the advanced option so let's disable uh, sorry let's uh, uncomment this as well and that will disable the sub menu so colon wq to write and quit and now we have to update grub now i have uh, alias called as update grub so let me type alias and you can see update grub so what does it do it runs the grub configuration command so it runs sudo grub dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grub dot cfc so this is the general command to uh, uh, regenerate your grub configuration file when, when you make a change to the grub configuration file so let's run update grub here if you do not have this alias you will run that entire command so let's run that it's generating the grub configuration file now we can reboot now let's reboot so one thing that you will notice is that we do not have a sub menu every kernel is found in the first page itself there is no separate menu called as arch linux advanced options we cannot go in there so now here by default it is running the linux lts kernel now let's choose the linux mainline linux kernel so enter so this session will be booted with the linux kernel now what we have to see is if the next session is also going to boot using the mainline linux kernel so let's reboot again and now you can see by default it is choosing the third option and it will boot in using the mainline linux kernel so that's it it's a very simple video if you want to change the default kernel with which you are going to log in maybe there is some other way to do this as well but this is the most convenient way that i found and i think this video will be useful for you as well thank you for watching have a nice day please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts regarding this video or regarding anything else in linux you can mention them in the comments or you can message me on mastodon or on reddit these are the platforms that i am available if i know the answer for that i'll reply that or if i can make a video about that particular topic i'll be sure that i'll make a video and it has been some uh, there is a large interval between my videos that's because i am a little busy i'll try to be a little more consistent with the with posting videos i'll try to post at least two videos per week and your support is very well appreciated once again thank you for watching and have a nice day thank you